Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. Hope you're doing well. Today I've um, put on the title of my short message, devotional, um, Rebuke That Illness. And uh, the reason I've um, put this up is that the other day, um, on Friday I was working and I could feel a <clears throat> sore throat coming on. And uh, you know what it's like when you have one of those sore throats, it just came on in the afternoon and uh, you kind of get that hint that you could have a cold coming. And uh, what I've done in the last few years is to rebuke, as soon as I get any signs of anything, to rebuke um, the cold in the name of Jesus. And uh, it seems to work. Now at the moment I do, um, I can feel it in my throat, but I can't actually really feel my throat, just that my voice is a bit different. But from my experience, and I know the prayer works, and I know that believing in God works, um, I haven't had any major cold for, for several years, and I've been doing this now for five or six years, rather than just letting the germ take over I've just um, rebuked it in the name of Jesus now maybe that sounds if you're not Christian a bit kind of airy fairy but the Bible says that Jesus is our healer and uh, we can call on his name and he will answer and it's definitely worked for me and I've prayed for many people over the years and <clears throat> in many cases I have seen uh, them healed instantly that's nothing to do with me um, I can be used as a vessel, but I know there was power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. So let's have a look at some scripture to back this up, because maybe you're you're suffering with something, and maybe you need to call on the name of Jesus and break every chain and rebuke that illness. So let's start with Exodus. Now I appreciate there are lots of scriptures, so um, but I've just put a few up on the screen. So we're in Exodus 15, um, verse 26. And he said, And if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statues, statutes, sorry, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Now that sounds pretty powerful to me. Now, I know that's from the Old Testament, but it's, it's a reminder that the Lord our God is our healer. But it does say... If you dilig diligently um, heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight. Now I do believe that being obedient to his word, and don't get me wrong, we all mess up. That doesn't mean you lose your healing. But if we, if we generally uh, obey his commandments and uh, seek to do what is right, which uh, so the Bible says the spirit of the Lord will lead us into all truth. And, in, and, it, and it really does. I think most Christians know um, when they've done something <coughs> something wrong as I messed up so um, and it says I will put none of the d diseases on you which you which I have brought on the Egyptians for I am the Lord who heals you so powerful words there and let's go um, down to Psalm 103 um, bless the Lord O my soul all that is in is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Sounds great great to me, more proof, more proof who heals all your diseases. And he forgives us, that's quite something. Fantastic in fact. Um, let's have a look at Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 53. Um, I've got a lot of verses highlighted here. Um, so the verses four to five. Surely he borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yes, we esteem him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Jesus has done it again. Wonderful words. Let's move on to uh, 1 Peter 2.24. Uh, who... Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Once we again we were healed by his stripes. For you were like sheep going astray. I was, big time, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Once again, more powerful words. We can rebuke that illness in the name of Jesus. Now, on, now on the next scripture, which is Matthew eight sixteen to 17. 
title here is Many Healed in the Evening. What wonderful words again. Uh, when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. Not some, but all who were sick. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He took, him, took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Once again, very powerful words. And finally we come to Mark 5.36 and it says, As soon as Jesus heard the word was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not be afraid, only believe. Now, when I first became a Christian, I was brought up in a Christian home, so I knew, I knew a little bit about the Christian faith. But there was lots of things I didn't understand in the Bible. But I decided to believe because I... If we don't, it's only going to bring confusion. And we know that God isn't the author of confusion. He is the giver of life. So, if you've got an illness, if, you, if you've got a need, which can be anything, maybe financial, maybe a job, whatever, believe in the word and uh, rebuke whatever's hold, holding you back. And um, let, let Jesus break every chain, because there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. And most of all, have faith in God and uh, there's a scripture I haven't got up on the screen but it's uh, Matthew 13 58 which reads and he did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith faith in God goes a long way and it doesn't have to be complicated I think as humans we humans and believers we often complicate our faith but it just you think of the words only believe believe in the Holy Bible believe that you can be healed believe that you can rebuke that business that disease sorry rebuke the uh, disease illness whatever and um, just ask God to help you he's there and um, when you call on his name he will answer so here I have the sinner's prayer maybe you're not a Christian and you're wondering what it's all about well here you have the opportunity for the Spirit of God to come and live inside of you just like I done around 25 years ago if you if you say this after me and you really believe it you will be born again that it goes dear Lord Jesus I acknowledge you as Lord and Savior of my life I repent of all my sins and I ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life amen once again if you prayed that and genuinely believe that the Spirit of God will move in but I also suggest to people that they start reading the Gospels I'm reading from Bible Gateway up here and there's plenty of apps that you can download for free on your phone and I always suggest to people try and find a good church or even a small group that can help you and um, and you can move forward in your um, in your gift of life don't forget that Jesus died to set the captives free he died on the cross to give you eternal life and there's power in the name of Jesus to break every chain thanks very much for watching